Eleven. She didn't deserve this, and it is not worth it to drink and drive. It's not worth it to be under any sort of influence and drive because there are people that people are trying to get home to. The family of a 20-year-old Madera woman killed in a crash early this morning is speaking out now about her death. The highway patrol says a drunk driver on the wrong side of the road hit her vehicle head on. Tonight, the family of Emily Ann Odler is remembering her bubbly personality and her love for life. Action News reporter Vince Ibarra is live in Madera tonight with the details of the crash and the memories shared by her loved ones. Vince? Well, Warren, her family is just devastated right now. They say this Starbucks location is the one that she loved working at and also the location she was headed to this morning before the unimaginable happened. And it doesn't feel real. It feels like she's going to drive in and I'm going to, we're going to be laughing and just making fun of each other like we normally do, you know. 20 year old Emily Ann Alder's sister Julianne shares how she's feeling after learning her sister, who they called Emmy, was killed in a car crash early Monday morning. Emmy was on her way to work at Starbucks. CHP says a car collision happened here near Ellis and Fairview Streets. They say Emily Ann was hit head on by 38 year old Michael Messer, who was driving on the wrong side of the road. At this time, it appears that alcohol was a factor. CHP officer Javier Rulwakava says Messer was taken to a hospital in Fresno. Court records show Messer had two other DUIs, one in 2018 and another one in 2020. CHP also shares he was driving on a suspended license. This man should have never been let out. So it took a life. He should have been behind bars a long time ago. The family says Emmy loved life, Taylor Swift, and her dog, Betty. Now Betty sits and waits for Emmy to come home. She keeps checking every car that pulls up. She goes, she sees it's not Emmy, and she walks away. Emmy spent her life savings on tickets to see pop singer Taylor Swift in about three weeks at Levi Stadium in Santa Clarita. But now Emmy won't get that experience. Julianne is undecided whether or not she'll still go to the concert, but if she does, she says she'll take Emmy's memory with her. I hope that she's remembered for her love. I hope that she's remembered for her smile. I hope that she's remembered as being the most hardworking, independent woman that anybody's ever met. Now the CHP says that Messer is in police custody and in critical condition at that Fresno hospital. As for the Alder family, they have set up a donation page. That information can be found on our website. For now, live in Madera, Vinci Barra, ABC 30 Action News.